So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can reset the administrator password when you don't know what's the password for the administrator account. So for example, I'm logged in as a regular user in this computer. And this user, John, has no administrator right. He's just a regular standard user. If I double click this exe file to install it, I'm going to get a prompt to enter the administrator password. So I'm going to show you how you can reset the administrator password and also you can give a standard user administrator rights. So on the logon screen, on the lower right side, I have the network icon, the accessibility icon and the power icon. So what is going to happen when I click on the accessibility icon, I am going to get the command prompt. So I would not get this, I would get the command prompt where I can make the changes. So first of all, you have to create a bootable USB drive with Windows. It can be Windows 10 or Windows 11. So I'm using a Windows 11 computer. So I'm going to create a Windows 11 installation media. And I just have to download this file. And I also have to download the Windows 11 ISO file. And this is free to download. I'll click on download. So you're going to use a USB drive, which is about 16 gigs and above to create that bootable USB drive. So I created the bootable USB drive. So now I'm going to take the bootable USB drive that was created and I'm going to boot up the computer with the USB. So I'm going to restart this computer. So I'm going to click on the USB drive here, boot up from. So this is the Windows setup. I'm going to click next. So now here, I'm going to click on repair your computer. So I'm going to get this option. So I'm going to click on troubleshoot and I want to click on command prompt. So this is the command prompt. Now I have to access the C drive of the computer. So I'm going to type C colon. Hit enter and I am in the C drive. So I want to make sure that's the correct drive. If you have more than one drive, you want to make sure. So I'm just going to type DIR. Okay, so this is the C drive. So I'm going to type C Windows. I want to go to the Windows folder. And I'm going to type CD system 32. So I'm in the systems 32 folder. So I'm going to rename the utilman.exe file. I'm going to type ren, which is rename utilman.exe space utilman.exe.old. So I renamed the utilman.exe file to utilman.exe.old. I'm going to hit enter on the keyboard. So now I'm going to make a copy of the command.exe file named utilman.exe. So I'm going to type copy, paste cmd.exe, utilman.exe. I'm going to hit enter. The file was copied. I'm going to type exit. Now I get back to the options page here. So I'm going to click on continue. Now on the lower right side, there's a network icon, there's a power icon, and this is the accessibility icon. So I'm going to click on that and I should get the command prompt. And you can see here the path C Windows System 32 utilman.exe. So on the command prompt, I'm going to type N-E-T-P-L-W-I-Z. And this is going to bring up the users. So I only have two users here, the administrator and John. And John is just a standard user, as you can see, and he's in the users group. And this is the administrator, which is in the administrators group. So now I can reset the password. I'll click reset and I'll type a new password. So the administrator password was reset. So I'm going to select John and I'm going to make John who is a standard user an administrator. So I highlighted the user John. I'm going to click on properties, click on group membership. I'm going to select administrator, click apply, click OK. And now John is an administrator with administrator right. Click OK. I'm going to close this. I'm going to log in as John. So in order for this to be effective, I have to restart the computer. So I'm going to log in as John. So I'm going to install the VLC player. I'm going to double click on it. And as you can see, there's no pop-up accent for administrator password. I'll cancel this. 
So now I'm going to restore back the utilman.exe file. So I'm going to reboot the computer into the USB. I'll click on restart. I'll hit F12. I'll double click on the USB drive. So I'll click next. Click on repair your computer. Click on troubleshoot. Click on command prompt. So I need to get to the C drive. I'm going to type C colon enter. I have to get to the Windows directory. I'm going to type CD Windows. And to access the system32 directory, I have to type CD system32. Enter. So to rename the utilman.exe file, I have to type REN utilman.exe space utilman dot exe dot new enter and now to restore the utilman.exe file i have to type this command copy utilman.exe dot old space utilman dot exe hit enter now i just have to type exit i'm going to click continue to reboot the computer now I'm going to click on the accessibility icon and as you can see it was restored back to normal. I'm going to log back on as John, double click on the exe file and John has administrator rights.